direction, quietly adopted here. Glenn Beck's inflammatory rhetoric, his ranting about Obama being a racist, quote, became a bit of a branding issue for us. That's absolutely right. So, so Ells is admitting yep. he took the Republican Party too far. Too far over the cliff and he's trying to pull it back now. Uh, absolutely. I mean, one of the things that he really is admitting is, is that Glenn Beck, it was over the top. And also, I think that when the Gabby Gifford shooting happened, I think that was really a kind of come to Jesus moment for a lot of people. And I think Ailes, who's a shrewd, uh, shrewd business guy, uh, really thought his network could become, you know, toxic at a certain point if he wasn't going to just tack and, and pull back. So very carefully he's been pulling it back. And if you notice all Bill O'Reilly's talking points recently, when he's been interviewed, he gave an interview to Peter Boyer the week before. It's all about staying on my message as being, we're not going to be as extreme as the Glenn Beck mm -hmm. uh, attack went. So he's, he has pulled it back and he is amazingly deaf the way he can just adjust all the time to the times and still keep ahead like that. Yeah. The Gabby Gifford shooting really was, do you think, a touchstone for the change in the conversation, I, I especially that that, within his I think that whole moment became a very much a kind of self-evaluation moment and also the stuff that, that Glenn Beck was saying when he was calling, uh, you know, he was, he, was, he was making comments that seemed racist and so on. I mean, these were the things that I think could be very harmful to it's an amazing animal. amazing. Can, I, can I, I'll just venture a controversial opinion. Yes. Which is that, which is that there is no place in American, the American mainstream media or politics where crazy and hateful are good for your brand. Right, that's yeah. up to In the true. long run. Absolutely.